Hey yo, what's poppin' people? It's your boy Gari, back at it with another video. Now a lot of y'all people have been asking me what kind of guitar VSTs that I actually use and how I make my acoustic guitar loops. Now sometimes I actually use my acoustic guitar, but sometimes I just use a certain VST that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. Alright, so we're in FL Studio right now and this is the plugin that I usually use right here. It's the Ample Guitar L2. Um, and it's an acoustic guitar as you probably can tell to me this has some of the most realistic like noises and like overall guitar sound I right, so what I actually started with is this little melody with the ample guitar plugin um, I'm just gonna play it and then I'm gonna break it down a little bit Alright, so just to explain that melody real quick, um, you actually just have the E minor chord, which is actually the root note of this melody, and you just have the G, like put one octave up. I'm actually using one in three beats, and then I have like the second, like the third note of the chord, and then I have the root note again, and these notes are kind of alternating as you probably can tell. And once I had that, just copied that over here and basically what I did is I just copied it over and I changed the root note from E to G and I actually changed like the upper note from uh, G to F and that's what kind of is creating the whole like pattern in this is just a little switch up here and the notes in the middle are just staying the same and, and that's basically the whole like uh, explanation of the melody It's just a simple like two chord melody but what I actually did is I rendered it out um, right here and I actually put some effects on it uh, so I'm gonna play it with the effects so yeah the effects on this are kind of wavy I have uh, EQ just to remove like low end and some like unwanted frequencies in the middle then I have this portal uh, plugin right here now this is some sauce if you haven't tried it out before essentially this is what's adding like that little layer of sound to the melody so if I just solo it and turn it off and on yeah this is this is essentially what it's doing I just turn the wet knob down uh, and I actually have on the reverse and it just creates this little cool like reverse effect this plugin is a major sauce too it's called Mondo Mod and it's from Waves uh, and basically I just have on like the FM depth it just creates like this kind of detuning effect like similar to Unstable and RC20 then we got some reverb Valhalla reverb uh, standard and another EQ to cut out even more a low end and yeah, what I came in with actually after that is a little pad from my upcoming one shot kit, uh, which is coming out soon. It's called Eternity. So stay tuned for that. But this is one of the pads from that one shot kit. So yeah, this just follows the root notes of the guitar melody and plays basically the normal three note chord. See so on the pad, I actually have Porto. Uh, the Mondo mod, uh, some reverb and some EQ. The last thing is a bass from the one shot kit previously mentioned that's coming soon, Eternity. Um, and basically just following the root notes. So I'm gonna just play all the elements together so you guys kind of can hear how it creates like the melody. So yeah, that's basically it for all the elements of the melody. I'm gonna render it out and open a new FL project and make some drums. Alright, so we're in a new project right now and 
I'm just gonna try and make some fire drums on this. So I'm gonna be using the essentials drum kit. Uh, it's gonna be available in the description, so check that out. Uh, let's try and get a clap actually. I low-key kind of want like a shorter hi-hat on this type of beat Alright, let's try and make some fire like hi-hat rolls Alright, so I think the hi-hats are good right now. I'm gonna add like a perk or like a snare just to add like some offbeat bounce. Alright, let's actually find like another type of 808, like something that hits a little bit harder than the usual like spin 808. I think I'm gonna go for yeah this one right here fuel from my essentials drum kit it's actually 808 that I made myself and it low-key like kind of hits hard <laughs> Uh, let's try and make like a bouncy ass like 808 pattern try and make like a reverse 808 that kind of like fades out Okay, yeah, I really fuck with this pattern right here. Um, I'm gonna actually add some more open hats. Add my little reverse hat from the kit. Just drag that tack down and the hold all the way up and everything all the way down. Let's try and make like some kind of weird bounce going on with the clap.
Okay, yeah, this is fire. This is fire right here. Like that little bounce with the hi hat, like kind of creating some switch ups, always fucking works. I right, yeah, that's basically it for the drums. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Um, if you guys want to use any of the sounds, check out um, my kits in the description. And yeah, it's been me, Gary. Peace. Yeah. Gary, chop that shit up.